Some people think your success is measured by the amount of intelligence you have. Life has taught me it's not about that. It's about working hard towards your goal, never quitting until you get there. Don't stop till you get there. Let's pass. Hi, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. So we have here a problem that a student sent me that he did not know how to do. It came either in a book or a website. He had no clue of how to, how to do it. So before you do it, I'm just gonna give you a little hint, a little, little hint to help you out. Um, so first off, this is a problem that I personally have never seen on the test. I don't find it too important. Yes, this rid of property is important, but this way they set it up is kind of a weird way. But anyways, we're gonna look at it and I'm gonna give you the hint. Uh, they're telling you a, b equal 10, a exponent two plus b exponent two equal 30. And then they say they want you to solve for y and they're giving you this equation. y equal, I'm not gonna solve it completely, I'm just gonna give you a little hint. Okay, so this is the hint. Four exponent two. The exponent tells you how many times you multiply the base by itself because it's an exponent two. You multiply by itself two times the base that is four. Seven exponent two because an exponent two tells you that you multiply the base by itself two times, seven times seven. Why am I saying this? Because this that we have here we can rewrite it. We're gonna rewrite it into something a little bit more simple or that we can work with, something that we're more accustomed with. So because it's an exponent two, the exponent two tells you to multiply by itself two times, a plus b, a plus b. Now, it looks something more normal that we have seen called distributive property. So the next step, what would it be? Apply distributive property, and then I'm not gonna give any more hints. So five seconds, five seconds, this is where you should start. You're gonna rewrite it into that. Okay. So that was the hint, that was the little hint. It's very important that you always try to do it. So even if you don't know, try, even if you don't know, try, please, if you're watching this recorded, just press the pause button, press the pause button, and now try to do it. Always try. Okay, so you tried to do it, you tried to do it, let's talk about it. Um, so, now as I said before, distributive property is a topic that you need to know for the ASVAB, but the way they put it here is a little bit weird. So it, it's not normal. Um, I've never seen one like this where they give you um, values and mixed with distributive property. I've never seen that per se, but uh, let's see how it's done. Uh, step one, they're giving you this. And they're also telling you that a, b equal 10. And a exponent 2 plus b exponent 2 equal 30. And they want to find the value of y, the value of y. Okay. So step one, we know that exponent two means that you multiply by itself two times. So we're gonna rewrite it as a plus b times a plus b. Now we're gonna apply the distributive property. And in distributive property, we're multiplying. Step one is to multiply. When you have two parentheses and there's nothing in between, you're multiplying. And even if you don't see it, there's a one here and a one here. 
When you multiply letters, exponents are added. A times A, A exponent 2. Because there's a 1 here and a 1 here. And when you multiply same letter with bases, it's going to add the exponents. That's a exponent law, exponent law. If you don't understand that and you are a student, uh, there is a video in your formula videos called Exponent Laws, Exponent Laws. Okay, now when you multiply A times B, it's going to be AB. Why don't you add the, the exponents? Because they're not the same base. This is an A and this is in the B. It's not the same base, so the rule doesn't apply. B times A. Now you can rewrite, you can write it as BA. But if you want to just, you could also rewrite it the same way you had it here. It doesn't really affect in any way because 3 times 2 is the same as 2 times 3. The order in which you write it won't affect. But let's redo everything because I deviated from the topic. Okay, we're going to apply this certain property. A times A is A exponent 2. A times B is going to be AB. B times A can be written as BA or AB. So it looks the same way. I'm going to write it as AB. And B times B is B exponent 2. Now, if you notice, you have something here. This is AB. This is AB. And you said that AB is 10. Okay. Remember, all of this is Y because this is Y. So we can lower the Y here. Now, you have another AB. Another 10, right? Because AB is 10. And if you notice, you're left with this, a exponent 2 plus b exponent 2, which is the same as this, a exponent 2 plus b exponent 2, which you said was how much? a exponent 2 plus b exponent 2 is going to be 30. So how much do you have now? 10 plus 10 plus 30. 10 plus 10, 20 plus 30, 50. Y equal 50. Again, if, if that confused you, you can just rewrite everything. I'm just going to put A2 plus B2 next to each other. And then this AB and this AB, all of that is what we have rewritten. A plus B, expo A exponent 2 plus B exponent 2 is 30. AB equal 10. AB equal 10. And when you add it up, you get Y equal 30 plus 10, 40 plus 10, 50. Now, if you're a student uh, in your member area videos, uh, you're going to go to basic concepts and you're going to look for topics called distributive property. That is what you need to know related to this topic. They're in alphabetical order. Um, it's going to have a bunch of examples. Uh, this one per se, I've never seen it mixed with type of plugin values. I haven't seen distributive property mixed with plugin values in the ASVAP. But this is how you would solve it. Hope this video helps you. If you leave a comment, thank you.